Tuesday, August 2nd. I'm looking forward to building uh, about eight to 10 remote sets uh, this month. Uh, July, July was very difficult. We had illness in the family. Uh, our day home for our daughter was closed for seven business days and a few holidays that I wasn't allowed to work. But I got everything done. I'm looking forward to August and it's going to be a good month. But before I leave you on that, I have a demonstration to show you. In this demonstration, it's called Frequency Hop. Frequency Hop is something I designed in 2019 uh, because I, envis I envisioned that there would be a lot of remote sets on a site one day. And what that means is there's potential for crowding the airwaves. Um, so what I did was I purposely allowed receivers to hear other receivers or rather other hand remotes with different network IDs with the same frequency in order to detect and then avoid. A bit complicated, but let me show you. So here's what we have for this test. We have my hand remote, this customer hand remote and receiver. Let me just change something here. Okay. So what I've done is I've already turned this guy on and this hand remote is already on. As you can see, they are communicating with each other. And if you check the frequency, dial max, top and bottom, this is on frequency X. Right now we have 26 different frequencies uh, to share the airwaves. Now, a small disclaimer, if I did not do what I'm going to show you I did, and you both were on the same frequency, it would be fine because a frequency, on, or sorry, a signal only takes 35 milliseconds to send. So you would literally have to be right next to each other and send at the same zero to 35 milliseconds and then it would be potential blockage but that's not the case because and i'm going to repeat myself just so it can sink in this hand remote is on x it was actually on j earlier because i did a test before i started recording so let's just do it so we have x so this guy is going to come on i happen to know that i just programmed this on x so it would purposely interfere we're going to wait till this goes dark i don't want it to hear this hand remote okay we're going to turn this one on and you can see it was X. Now you see, it's not detecting a receiver. It's X. That is because although it's on the same frequency as these two, this has a different network ID. So just for good measure. So what has happened is this hand remote, or sorry, this receiver has heard this yellow. So this is what's going to happen. This receiver is waiting for your hand remote to communicate to it. And when this hand remote communicates to it, it's going to say in a signal back, I'll change your amps. But by the way, I detected this guy and I want us to change our frequency. And then this hand remote says, okay, I understand, let's do this. 
he sends a new frequency he sends i heard it he sends a, that new frequency and he sends it back saying yep yeah, i am on a new frequency with you we are all good to go and this will happen in about less than one quarter of a second so it's going to be quick and in fact if you're not looking at your hand remote you would have not had seen it so watch so that's it so let's ask where did it go it went to s so let's recap. You were a system running on X. Your buddy comes and works in the same site as you. So one in 26 chance he's on the same frequency. He started welding. Your receiver heard his signal, logged it and waited for you to send a signal. When you sent a signal, the receiver changed your amps. And when he sent a signal back, he said, by the way, I heard this guy. I'm gonna initiate a frequency change. He says, absolutely, let's do this. And it's done. So off. Of course, this is still on X. And this one is on J. Or sorry, it's on S. So that's my demonstration of frequency hop. It's really a function that you don't need to even know about it's done in the background it's to help you out it's uh something i thought of as i said in april 2019 because although at that point i had only initially a few remotes out we're now three years later and many hundreds more out there so i'm very happy i came out with that feature so that's all I have for you today. I'm going to start my work day and hopefully I will do another video, another video at the end of the week with another feature for you. Thank you.